Hi, I'm going to show you how to make something move on a path. So basically, I've taken an image, uh, took out the background in Photoshop, and saved it as a ping file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, go to file, and click on import, and I'm going to send it to the library. So this is a rocket, that image that I took and it should be in your library so if I click hold and drag it to the stage it should come in it's still not a symbol so I want to convert that into a symbol I, I can go to modify convert to symbol give it a name rocket and save it as a graphic symbol I can delete this, bring my rocket symbol, and you know that it's a symbol because there's a cross here, you can double click on it, and then if it goes into this mode, it says that it is a symbol. So now I'm going to create a path, and I want it to follow the path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click on the layer panel. I can also double click on this and make it into a rocket. Do a right click, go to add classic motion guide. So it creates a kind of a path for the guide, the path that you're going to make. And I'm going to go to the pen tool, click hold and drag and use the Bezier curve and make this thing go on this path. So it's a symbol, and when you click on it, if you go to the property, if you go to dock, make sure this is snap is on. So make sure that the snap is on, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go click on this, try to snap it. If it's not snapped to the path, it's not going to work. So I'm going to go to any frame, 90, 100, whatever, hold shift, and create keyframes. Then I take the same symbol, make sure that you're not selected on both the layers. You just click on the symbol, and drag it so it snaps on the other end. So if I do a right click on this and go to create classic symbol, it should follow the path. Now the only thing, now if you look at it, it looks funny because it's just going straight following the path. I'm going to close this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the object and then when you go to tools, uh, go to frame, it says orient to path. So make sure you click on orient to path and then if you play now, you can see that it orients to path but then it's not really fine-tuned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to the transform tool and really rotate it. So if I play it now, So you can see that it is following the path. And if I press Control or Command, Enter or Return, you can see that 
the rocket is following the path that you created. So this is the way to make it into a guided path and you can have really good control of what you're doing in terms of the animation. Thank you. Hope that helps.